Calls are mounting for DFL Representative John Thompson to resign following several accusations of domestic violence. Now the top DFL official in the state is among those asking for him to step down. Caroline Cummings is live at the state capitol with Governor Tim Wall's reaction to the controversy. Caroline. Good afternoon, Shayla. So the governor first called for the resignation of John Thompson over the weekend, but is doubling down on those calls this morning, saying that elected officials need to be held to a higher standard. Now, Thompson denies all accusations of domestic violence against him and is refusing to resign so far. But the House GOP is poised to file ethics complaints against Thompson if the House DFL doesn't take disciplinary action against him or he doesn't step aside. Now, in a letter this morning, Minority Leader Kurt Dow wrote House Speaker Melissa Hortman asking her uh, office to hold Thompson, who's in her caucus, accountable if the GOP, if not, the GOP says it's ready to file ethics complaints against him, which could set in motion a potential vote to expel him from the chamber if the ethics committee recommends that action. Removal can only happen with a two-thirds majority, according to the state constitution. I just want to be clear, the, the information that came out over the weekend involving multiple uh, accusations, cases of, of domestic violence um, in the presence of children um, just makes it so that I do not believe that the representative continues to serve as well. Thompson was first elected to the legislature in 2020, and through his lawyer, he says he, quote, challenges the authenticity of the police reports detailing the accusation. Now, when I asked Governor Tim Walz about that this morning, he said that he would find it, quote, very unusual for multiple police departments and multiple uh, reports from those police departments to, quote, fabricate that information. Shayla. Caroline Cummings reporting. Thank you so much, Caroline.